It is my great privilege to meet with a very eminent music director today, a singer of the young generation. He has under his belt various innovative gems like Tarihi Vasanta Fulato, Nakshatranse Dene, and the very, very popular darling of today's youth, Ayush Shavar Bolukahi. He has recorded music for numerous movies and won various awards. He composes light Marathi songs, Bhav Gite, devotional songs and of course children's songs. He has mesmerized large audiences full of just not fellow Indians but foreigners as well in Dubai, Japan, Europe and England. He, he is none other than Dr. Salil Kulkarni. Hi friends. Welcome Salil ji. It's Hello. wonderful to have you here with us today. Salil ji, you played Jayostute at the age of three on Akashwani. Yeah. That was quite an early start. Have you always had this flair for music? Uh, to be frank, at three, anybody can cannot decide his profession or what he exactly want to do. But actually, we always had all the instruments at my place because my father used to play harmonium, violin, flute. So, uh, as far as as far as I remember myself, I always remember myself with the harmonium only. Okay, you took a great liking yeah, for that because, instrument because my. Uh, play my toys also used to be these instruments okay I never played anything else but the harmonium in my childhood and I remember my father uh, playing with me with the harmonium like uh, pressing a certain note and asking me to sing that note okay. that used to be For you my to play. guess that note yeah so before three I really did not learn anything but uh, somehow I uh, started very early and uh, I'm very lucky that my parents did not make a uh, glamorized publicity of that Absolutely. because that is very important if if parents decide and make a publicity like my child is a blessed one and he's a real genius that always uh, hampers the growth of an artist how uh, would you say that the parents can identify that their child has a special inclination or a very different flair for music uh, actually i think each and every human being has got some kind of reaction to music but the important thing is the intensity and see it is always seen uh, for example now all the kg students always sing the nursery rhymes right absolutely but most of them sing in the way like johnny johnny yes papa eating sugar no papa but they few of them it. few of them sing like johnny johnny yes papa and they do it themselves not right. after teaching right they they react to it in, in beats only. So that is the very primary thing to identify that this child has got some kind of inclination or some kind of born uh, instincts for music. So what would you say is the right age or the right time for the parents to give professional guidance to the child? Speaking uh, about the psychology of a child, see basically he needs to sit at, at a place for some time. For professional guidance. So that's a basic thing. Okay. So I don't think before three anybody can start Actually teaching. learn. But I always feel that you can make him enriched by making him listen to good music. Right. Good kind of music and different kind of music. Uh, because you know at that age the hard disk is totally empty. Absolutely. So the speed is very fast of intake. Very well said. So whatever you make them hear, they grasp it. Right. So that is the age you should avoid making them listen to bad things. I always mm. feel that the way parents uh, try to avoid bad company for their children, similarly they should avoid bad music, bad books, bad films, because that is going to uh, hamper his growth as a person, his sensitivities also. And in that way I think they can avoid bad influence on the child. I'm sure that has an effect. Exactly. I think. Uh, that is the age when they set their standards. Right. This is good, this is bad. Because, you know, I, uh, like my nephew, he, whenever he listens to uh, Channel V or Channel M or even a Marathi channel and listening to different songs, he's just five. Right. But, you know, he keeps listening to a good song and the moment a very shallow kind of song comes, he, he switches uh, off yeah, to another yeah, yeah, channel. Yeah. 
so that is that is the time when you set standards for yourself and uh, uh, that there there the parent parents are very important right. because they they set the standard because the child doesn't know anything at that age absolutely it's their uh, role to develop the right exactly. taste for the child in exactly. so, good music uh, very well said that the taste making their taste good and making their standards high is your responsibility as parents that's what i think true so what would you say how much time when the child is older <coughs> and is taking guidance is really pursuing music how much time is sufficient to be devoted regularly for the vocation is it something that Basically, takes up the, the amount of time time or the quantity of time is not that important i think the okay. quality of time is important how okay. much quality time you give for your uh, passion because right. i i don't like the word hobby <laughs> when it is used about music because when it's hobby you uh, look at it in a very cool way relaxed way relaxed way you just you just pursue it for some time then leave it then again pursue it then leave it Right. so hobby is not a correct word it should be your passion then only go on that path exactly otherwise you have to be very not, focused uh, otherwise it's not that easy but uh, when it's your passion only an hour of quality time is also more than sufficient salin ji like you rightly said it's not important that they spend a lot of quantity time to learn music right you hold an mbbs degree uh right. so do you think it's important to also pursue education along with this vocation see whatever you do in your life even you uh, do music you do sports or anything but certain kind of education is very very important to make you a good person to give you what you call as wisdom right and secondly there are many things you learn by doing professional education like stress management time management communication right so when i now i interact with a film director even i interact with a small uh, child singer so it's very easy for me to communicate with them right because i am a doctor by education and i am used to communicating with different kind of people absolutely so education actually is an asset definitely along with the definitely. vocation so you definitely recommend that it's not necessary that you leave aside everything else if you want to pursue not music not at all many a times this is a myth that the parents think that uh, see we are not concentrating on study because right. he is doing music so this is not uh, good or this is not right because you know a child is good in everything right or he is not good in anything these are only two possibilities when he is good he is good in everything so he is right. good in music also he is good in education also he is good in Uh, good at his place also as a child right so he is able to handle all that definitely so salil ji do you think music is always an inborn talent amongst individuals so it's always said that the artists are of two types one who are like born artists they are genius they don't need to do anything and they are great and second kind of artists who really work hard for uh, any kind of achievements right. and i always think that we should think that we are from second category all Very the all the said. artists and parents also should think that their child is from second category not from first category right because if they start thinking that my uh, child is a genius and his uh, he's got a god well. gift right then uh, the chances that the child also starts thinking about the same thing Absolutely. and hampers the growth is yeah. very so high. it's uh, important to encourage them in the right way so that they have that willingness to learn parents should always encourage but should not over encourage or over uh, publicize them that's what i think right so how much of exposure is good for children at a young age like if uh, teenagers for example if uh, if they exposure are exposure is a very relative uh, kind of right. term because what what people are following right now like i want to see my child on television Absolutely. Or I want his album to come out very soon. With reality shows being right, around right. So, so much. So it gives you a pseudo kind of uh, uh, satisfaction right. that you are doing something very good because you are just been seen on television for two or three times. Absolutely. You feel that you are a celebrity and you are a good artist. But to be a good artist and to be seen on television are two different things. Yes. And I always think that if you achieve something very good in any kind of art. then all these things like 
publicity, your interviews will come after follow, that. Follow, exactly. It will follow so, you. So there is no need to go behind these things. Exposure in form of making uh, good people listen to your song, right. your singing, like you're interacting with good people, right. inter interacting with senior uh, music people. That is more important. That that exposure is important. Is important. So to have the right audience for your talent is important. Exactly, because again the same thing, uh, when somebody who really knows music appreciates you, right? then that, that's altogether different. And when that appreciation I think is more encouraging. Definitely, and, and that is a long term kind of appreciation, not just, okay. uh, uh, for, just for the occasion, it's not right. just for that. That's true. Thank you so much for being with us here Salil ji. I'm sure all our young viewers have definitely noted from your valuable suggestions that it is important to actually pursue any vocation in depth in order to have a bright and long lasting future. Thank you. All my best wishes for my young friends and all the viewers. Thanks a lot.